I just harvested these amazing Bay and Alpha cucumbers last night. More on that later. But when I posted a picture to social media, a lot of you asked how I keep cucumber beetles off my plants. So that's what we're talking about in today's video. Let's go. So when it comes to cucumbers, cucumbers are fairly simple to grow. They have very few diseases and very few pests. Usually you'll encounter things like powdery mildew, which is a disease, later on in the season. We have videos on how to cure that, by the way. Check it out. And earlier in the season, that's where you have more of your pest problems. Now, because uh, cucumbers are fairly thorny, they're pretty resilient and tough-leafed, they don't have very many pests. You know, rabbits won't eat them and deer don't really care much about them. I know other people will probably say otherwise, but, but when it comes to pests, there's one in particular that really plagues cucumbers early, and that is the cucumber beetle. Now, the cucumber beetle, I'll post a picture right there, is a ladybug-like beetle that actually feeds on tender growth and young flowers. And that poses a big problem because if you don't have flowers, you can't have fruit. And cucumbers are a perpetual fruiter. That means the more, they, more you harvest, the more they're going to fruit. And so flowers are occurring at all stages of the plant. Now, cucumber beetles can also transmit other diseases as well, like wilt and uh, you know, fungal spot and things like that. So it's not necessarily uh, safe to say that your cucumbers are out of the water. If you don't have powdery mildew, you may have other diseases brought on by the pests, by the cucumber beetle. So it's really important that we reduce them and mitigate them as much as possible. So the first way to reducing cucumber beetles in the garden is by harvesting at night. Now this is a quick little tip for all of you because you're not only gonna end up with higher quality harvests, there's more water content in the cucumbers at night. That's because during the day, you'll notice they kind of wilt a little bit. That's because water is being sent down to the roots away from the leaves and it also leaves the fruits as well. And so you're gonna end up with more water rich, uh, you know, plump, fruits when you harvest at night. But it also reduces the amount of cucumber beetles because cucumber beetles are not nocturnal. They come out during the day. And that's because they use their eyes to search for yellow flowers. Cucumber beetles are attracted to the color yellow as well as the scent cucurbitaceae. Now cucurbitaceae, uh, as I'll say a lot in this video, is a chemical scent given off by the cucumbers. Now it's a, it's a chemical scent that can be given off during stress, flowering, and germination. The reason why a lot of your seedlings in the beginning get eaten up or kind of munched all together is because when they germinate, the seed of the cucumber has the highest concentration of cucurbitaceae. So that's the first time that you'll typically encounter cucumber beetles is at seed germination. If you can make it past that and actually survive the germination stage, the next stage is during flowering. And the flowering stage, because it happens all throughout the season, is a constant attractant. And when you harvest at night, the flowers of the cucumber plant are typically closed up at night. And so they reduce less cucurbitaceae at night. And then the third time that cucumbers will, re uh, will release cucurbitaceae is when they're harvested. And that's because the plant is undergoing stress. So during periods of drought or hot weather, it's gonna be giving off cucurbitaceae, but also when you harvest, because when you harvest, you're actually actively pulling off the immature fruit. And the cucumber plants want to keep that fruit on longer so that it can form viable seeds. So anytime you harvest things, you're actually gonna send out a stress pheromone, and that applies to any vegetable in the garden. And that stress pheromone can sometimes attract uh, insects. So by harvesting at nighttime, you're gonna not only have better fruit, but less cucumber beetles. The second way you can reduce cucumber beetles in the garden is by picking varieties that have less cucurbitaceae. There are varieties that are bred to have less, and that's because cucurbitaceae is actually what gives cucumbers their bitterness. So by picking a more tender or sweet variety of cucumber, you're going to be reducing the amount of cucurbitaceae. Now there are varieties like the Armenian Yardlong, uh, Evergreen, Tender Green. There are varieties like uh, Bayet Alpha, Ashley, many varieties have less cucurbitaceae. The most cucurbitaceae is actually found in pickling varieties. Things like Boston pickling, homemade pickles, uh, Wisconsin SMR. That's because the cucurbitaceae is found in concentrations, specifically in the thorns of the skin. As the thorns mature, they give off an enzyme. That enzyme contains high levels of cucurbitaceae, which help to attract the cucumber beetles. So by picking a less thorny variety or harvesting them slightly earlier, that can uh, help to reduce how much scent is being sent into the air, which helps reduce cucumber beetles. The third way to reduce cucumber beetles in the garden is by trellising them. This is a really helpful tip to not only reducing how many cucumber beetles you have, but also reducing disease. The more the plants are near the ground, the more airflow is restricted 
and that leads to things like powdery mildew later on. But it also will help reduce cucumber beetles. Why? Because cucumber beetles are actually born in the ground. They're a beetle, so they actually have their eggs laid in the ground. When they enter a larval stage and they pupate and then hatch, they go to the path of least resistance to find food. And that's often very close to the ground, within one to two inches. And so if you keep your plants up, if you keep them on a trellis, it's actually gonna keep that food source further away, and they're more likely to hatch and then end up flying away, rather than climbing up and basically touching a flower, finding a food source, and staying, because cucumber beetles will stay where there's a food source. One quick little tip to keeping your plants not only more disease-free, but also the third way to keeping cucumber beetles off your plants. All right, the fourth way to reducing cucumber beetles in the garden is by not using chemical attractants. Now, that might seem like an obvious thing. Why would I want to attract cucumber beetles to the garden? However, a lot of people use cucumber beetle traps. It's a trap much uh, very similar to the Japanese beetle traps, which is a scent that brings in the cucumber beetles. They fall into a bag, and then they basically suffocate or drown and die. And the problem with that is that it attracts them. There's a chemical attractant, cucurbitaceae, that goes throughout the air and brings them into the area, meaning cucumber beetles that never would have came to your garden are now in your garden. And yes, you're trapping some of them, but you're not trapping all of them. So what I recommend doing is not using those. A lot of people think that those are effective because they trap the cucumber beetles. However, those are only used in large commercial applications for what's called an integrated pest management system. We have videos on that and how they work and how you can use them, but in short, uh, farmers will use those to test a population size. If you, if you test an area that is like 100 square feet or 200 square feet, and you find that in that trap there is, you know, uh, let's say 10 or 15 cucumber beetles, you can say that the population density of cucumber beetles in your area is about 10 to 15 cucumber beetles per 100 square feet. That's all it does. And obviously that's not gonna trap, it's not gonna trap all of them. And so it's going to attract more than it traps and you don't wanna bring cucumber beetles into your garden. So that's the fourth way you can keep them out of your garden. All right, the fifth and final way you can reduce cucumber beetles in the garden is by reducing stress. Now you can reduce stress two different ways. One, you can water more frequently. Watering frequently, especially during high heat and drought conditions, will keep the plants growing and stress-free. Less stress means less cucurbitaceae, which is less chemicals that brings in the cucumber beetle. So watering them frequently is definitely important. I recommend watering in the morning. That's gonna have the, uh, the biggest effect on making sure the plant gets most of that water before the heat of the day and before night when things like powdery mildew can, uh, can take hold from watering at night. So water during the morning, water frequently, and you're gonna have less stressed plants also by not spraying pesticides. This is a huge mistake that a lot of gardeners make. And a lot of people ask me, Luke, why don't you recommend spraying any type of pesticide, organic or inorganic, on the garden during summer? And that's because the sun is too high in the sky, it is too hot and too dry, and any time you spray a pesticide, any chemical whatsoever, onto the surface of your leaves, it is going to cause massive amounts of stress. And so by doing that, it's only going to exacerbate the problem. It's only gonna release even more cucurbitaceae, which is only going to increase the amount of cucumber beetles you have in your garden. So I recommend using the other preventative tips and we have other videos on how to uh, intercrop and create a bio-intensive garden that I'd recommend checking out. Planting things like herbs, other crops like tomatoes, dill, very fragrant crops can help to mask the scent of the cucumber plant, which helps to reduce how much cucurbitaceae is in the air. It kind of dilutes it, kind of confuses the bugs. That is another video for another day, but we've done lots of videos on how to intercrop and why intercropping can be beneficial. So I'd recommend checking those videos out. And the one last thing is that I would recommend you all to subscribe. Subscribing is the best way to get access to all this information and any future videos we upload. So make sure you do that. Throw a like up there if you did enjoy. And oh, and one final thing is that this is a time sensitive little news bulletin. We actually have a grand opening of our seed store. That's right, for six months we've been working on our seed store and it would mean the world to see you all out there. So I'll post links to that in the description box down below. And hopefully you guys will check out the grand opening. We'd love to see you. We're located in St. Clair, Michigan. So if you wanna make a drive, if you wanna make a trip out of it, it's a ton of fun. It's a beautiful little town We've loved, and we'd love to see you. So as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. And we'll catch you all later.
Bye. Huh, that's a good video done. I wonder how many times people are going to take shots with how many times I said cucurbitaceous.